Hi folks, just a quick tutorial just to show you how to put shapes on your videos using some graphic files that I just created. So I'm going to go to my arrows folder and I'm going to find a big arrow, thickness 02, click on there and that appears in the preview which I drag onto V2. Notice I have a blue color clip on V1. So there's your big arrow showing with a black background. So I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to put a chroma key simple filter, click on the eyedropper and click on the black background which disappears and the blue clip shows through. Then I'm going to add a rotating scale filter. Where are we? Rotating scale, there it is. And I'm going to scale it down in size. There we are. Then I'm going to rotate it, just for the sake of it, to there. I'm going to add a size and position filter next. Make it slightly smaller again, and move it along a little bit. And now a color grading filter. So I press C-O-L-O-U-R, there it is click on that and then I can then change the color of it just experiment so it's pink and it goes red yellow green I think yellow looks great and that's looking good now I'm just going to add a fade in and fade out by double clicking the flashing black circle now it fades in from black so to rectify this I need to click adjust opacity instead of fade from black and also do it for the fade out. So I'll just preview it and it looks fine. And if you want to make it uh, even smaller you just go back to the scale and reduce it like that. Superb. Now I'm going to open another one now and I'm going to choose a circle so we we'll choose that big circle there that will appear in the preview, drag that to the timeline, put it there. Then I'm going to copy the filters from the previous clip. Copy, paste. And there's my circle. Now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger this time, so tweak the scale and change the color. I think we'll change it now to red, or whatever you want and uh, you can you can move it along as you wish and that's about it thanks for watching bye bye